Well, some business owners in the downtown Santa Barbara promenade are worried about more changes that may impact their sales. News Channel reporter John Palmentary joins us now live. And John, we recently learned about a fire safety plan, and now there could be changes to a side street dining area. And recently we've been talking a lot about this, but we've been focusing on State Street, directly in the area from Haley up to Sola. But now they're also looking here on Victoria Street as well. And some of the business owners here are concerned about proposed changes. They're urging the city to go slow with COVID still affecting the economy as much as it is. The dining outside people really, really enjoy. In fact, I probably have more requests for this outside area at this point than we can even handle. As popular as the outside dining has been on Victoria Street in Santa Barbara, the area between Chapala and State Street may see a change soon. Right now, traffic is in one direction with a gentle bend in the flow of the street. Santa Barbara leaders are looking at returning the street to a pre-pandemic look with some outside dining options, but traffic would again be in both directions. Our transportation, fire, emergency personnel are seeking to reopen those streets for emergency access and full circulation. And, and that would be an effect of March 8th. For the Bouchon restaurant, traffic going two ways would be too loud and ruin the ambiance. They also worry about safety issues. If the change goes two ways, they would then take their outside dining away. We're more of an elevated dining uh, style, so we would give up on, uh, on doing something out here and have to try something else, uh, unfortunately. The issue of returning Victoria Street to two-way traffic is part of a larger discussion where the fire department would like to see a 20-foot space down the middle of the promenade on State Street. For some restaurant customers nearby at the public market, the setup now works well for them here and in other areas, too. There's a lot of reasons why we need to be able to get through streets, but there's also a lot of reasons why businesses need the support to be outside. We also go to Ventura a lot, and I know they opened up Main Street in Ventura, um, and it's been a boon for, for businesses there. At Bouchon, they'll ask the city to hold off on any changes, especially with another COVID surge underway. It's pretty mellow with the one-way traffic. It was even better initially when we had the street uh, closed both ways. And when it comes to having enough room for first responders, this street appears to meet the criteria as it is. With uh, a park loop that's uh, been removed down the way here, there's more of a straight shot down Victoria now. Right now, the area is a normally mellow shared space with restaurant customers, pedestrians, bicyclists, and cars. The city council is set to take this up on Tuesday and already many of the business owners, especially the restaurant owners, not only on State Street, but here on Victoria Street are getting set, writing out their responses, and they'll be not only talking about this proposal with the city council, but coming up with some alternatives and suggestions, trying to be part of a solution. Reporting live in downtown Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right. Thank you, John. Well, local food banks are seeing a significant surge in the number of people they're serving. The Food Bank of Santa Barbara County and the Slow Food Bank report an increased need in their services. Food insecurity has been a major issue since the start of the pandemic. But now other factors are squeezing budgets even tighter. Inflation, which is pushing up the cost of food.